Hello and welcome to DFW Business Hour. Uh, it's, a web, it's a reach out program of Web Chapel Church of Christ. We do thank you for joining us. My name is Art Garcia and I am your host. And today we have Richard A. Brown from Life Languages International. Richard, thank you for joining us today on DFW Business Hour. Thank you, Art. What a privilege for me to be here with DFW Business Hour. Thank you for the difference you're making in the business community through these programs. Oh, it's an honor to be able to interview people like you that have such great uh, influences in our community. You're also a member of the Chamber of Commerce from uh, Farmers Branch. Yes, I've been a member of the Farmers Branch Chamber for almost 25 years. And as you'll find out in our program, my passion mm -hmm. is communicating and helping others learn how to communicate. And that's why it's a natural fit with the Farmers Branch Chamber and with Life Languages International. Great. Also, uh, the, the, tell us the story of Life Languages International. Back in the 1980s, the founders, Fred and Anna Kendall, realized that how they communicate with each other was basically on different pages. Mm -hmm. Fred has a style that is a mover, that likes to take action, that throws things out, throws ideas out. And Anna has a wonderful heart. She's a very big responder. And they noticed that with the communications that they weren't usually on the same page. They also recognized with their son, Michael, that he loves to think about things. He's a contemplator. Mm -hmm. And from that experience within the family, and Fred also meeting with couples and individuals, they recognized that we have different ways we communicate. And based on that, they started identifying what are the life languages? What are the communication styles that we have? Again, Fred is a mover, Anna's a responder, Michael's a contemplator. And they came up with three groups. The first one is kinetic, action. A mover and doer tends mm -hmm. to take action. They came up with the emotive category. That's responder and influencer. Mm -hmm. And they tend to have uh, a very warm heart, and they tend to uh, care very much about meeting people and, and working with people. And then we went to the cognitive. The cognitive mm -hmm. is those that think and plan, like shaper, producer, and contemplator. And it has evolved from the family, recognizing their three styles, to today we have seven life languages, seven communication styles that each of us have. And we have all seven. So all of us uh, are different in these categories. We, we are different, but we have all seven. We do. And that's important, Art, because if we had all seven the same, we would be pretty boring. So in, it's in different levels. Yes, and what the profile helps them to do is to realize what tends to be my strongest style of uh -huh, communication and which one tends to be maybe I don't use as much as the others. Now, I want to make it clear here, we're not trying to label, we're not trying to say one language is better than the other. We have all seven, and if we recognize what tends to be our propensity to communicate this way and pick up on how others communicate, then we can move between our languages and be better communicators. Great. Uh, I, I have the chart here for the seven languages, and it explains each one, the, like the ones you were mentioning, the language, mover, doer, and yes. as we go on. Mm -hmm. But uh, th that's great. I, d I never thought about that. Um, another question is, tell us about your role with them. Okay. Well, having retired from financial services of over 40 years, mm -hmm. I've also been in Toastmasters International for over 40 years, and passion for me is obviously communications. Yeah. Having known Fred and Anna Kendall for about 10 years, they gave me the privilege to become part of the home office team mm -hmm. and to help them market and develop new programs and technology as, as Life Languages International reaches around the world. Today, there are 400 trainers in a number of countries, the United States, England, Poland, Africa, Europe. There's countries all over the world that they have trainers that can take the skills of being a certified trainer or master certified trainer and they can take that into organizations, into companies, into churches and make a difference in lives. So actually you're not a local uh, <coughs> chapter but you're internationally known. 
That's correct. This is the home office here in Farmers Branch, and what they're doing is is used around the world by their their trainers, over 400 of them. I see. Uh, what is the Kendall <laughs> Life Languages profile? Well, the profile, and that's a great question, Art, because there are motivational tools, mm -hmm. there's uh, psychological tools, there's personality tools, there's all kinds of uh, things that are available to help us understand who we are. Mm -hmm. And the Kendall Life Languages Profile is a true communication analysis tool. What that means is that is one of the very few that we have in the United States today that will help you identify exactly what is your communication styles. And again, I want to mention, they have recognized we have seven styles. Mm -hmm. We have all seven. When you do the profile, you get a 15 to 20 page printout that will show you your propensity to communicate in this style maybe most of the time. But you recognize that at other times, depending on the situation, you may move from perhaps a mover of taking action over to a contemplator to think about things. We have all seven, and there is no right or wrong mix. But the profile will give you a 15 to 20 page printout that will show you what tends to be your communication styles and it will help you to recognize why sometimes when you have a communication with someone they look at you like what page are you on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's simply because we communicate different ways different. but we have all seven i see uh, well isn't this just like any other profile available <clears throat> Absolutely not, because you have everything from the DISC, the Myers-Briggs, mm -hmm. the, the personality ones, the motivational, the giftings, and this one is based upon one area, how do we communicate? And if you were to Google what's out there, this is one of the very few communication tools that through these 115 questions, you can identify your seven communication styles and what we call life languages. Mm -hmm because we use these styles of communication our entire life. What do you mean by seven languages? <clears throat> seven languages is saying that we have three categories. Mm -hmm. We either have kinetic, which is action, mm -hmm. and that could be a mover, or that could be a doer. Mm -hmm. We have emotive, okay, which can be uh, thinking, can be from the heart, and it can be acting. And that is saying that we have influencer and responder. Mm -hmm. And then we have the cognitive. Mm -hmm. The cognitive is saying that uh, a shaper, a producer, a contemplator, we might think before we act. I see. Okay. I see. Very interesting. Uh, what is the percentage worldwide for each communication <laughs> style? I don't know what, uh, what the percentage would be for, for each style because the seven life languages is worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, Fred Kendall went to Zimbabwe mm -hmm. uh, this past year and did seminars for a number of pastors. They have all seven styles. Mm -hmm. We have trainers, again, in England, Poland, and various countries. The profile fits anyone. Now, obviously, there's languages differences mm -hmm. that you have to translate and such, but the, the how we style all the way from taking action to wanting to think about it I think is a human thing that you'll find anywhere. I see. Um, how about commu uh, your communication style for your <laughs> wife, Connie, and you? Well, I'm going to get in trouble here, <laughs> but that is a great example. <clears throat> My top style of communication tends to be influencer. Influencers have a filter. Every language has a filter. Mm -hmm. okay? And influencers filter is, are we communicating? Being part of the chamber, being in Toastmasters, retiring from financial services, I see. I've always striven to be a good communicator. So my filter is, are we communicating? Are we communicating? Mm -hmm. Now my wife Connie is a very high responder and her filter is, mm -hmm. do I really care? Do I really care? <laughs> so when we have conversations, I'm going, dear, are we communicating? She's going, honey, do you really care? <laughs> and what I've realized, because if that's her main style of communicating, and my main style is this, then I need to change my words. I see. I need to ask questions. Mm -hmm. I need to be more aware of how she's speaking to me, and hopefully she's more aware of how I'm speaking to her, so we're on the same page. And that's the main benefit. 
if you can have a communication skill that you're on the same page, that you're not looking at that person and saying, what planet are you from? Mm -hmm. Or what language are you speaking? Mm -hmm. But you can actually become what we call multilingual in the sense you've got seven ways we can communicate. So from this course, you actually learn how to communicate with people. Yes, and that's a great point to bring up also. The 400 trainers would come into the home office. Mm -hmm. They would become certified trainers. We have a couple that have been doing this for a long time. They're both master certified trainers. Mm -hmm. They can go out to their communities and they can conduct workshops. Workshops can be from two to four hours. And what happens in the workshops, Art, <coughs> is that there are various manuals that mm -hmm. we can go from whatever period of time we have yeah. and train them to understand their profile. We have one designed for the corporate world. We have one designed for churches and other churches. organizations that we can use. So these are tools that we can take in. We can carry it further. We can do workshops on parenting. We can do workshops on diversity. We have all types of tools that these trainers can come into a company, an organization, a church, and have material designed to help those folks. It's just the needs of each uh, <clears throat> company or people that you're going to go see, right? Yes, and there's something like over a thousand companies and organizations around the world that, mm -hmm. that use the Kendall Life Languages profile today. Um, who would benefit from this profile? I would say the benefit can be all the way from the personal level. Mm -hmm. I have seen couples that have things going on in their marriage that have taken the profile, have spent the time, have met with Fred and Anna Kendall and mm -hmm. met with others, and have studied what their <clears throat> communication styles are, and guess what? It has healed their marriage. It has made a healthier marriage. I've seen families that have children, that there are things going on, issues with the children, that mm -hmm. communication issues and through the profile. Mm -hmm. They've been able to build great uh, parent and child relationships. I have seen it in the corporate world, mm -hmm. whether it's a municipality, perhaps a, a government agency, uh, a company. It, it fits all the way from the personal level art mm -hmm. to the corporate level. When you can come into a company and you could say to that company, <clears throat> we're going to do a profile mm -hmm on each of your management people. And then based on that profile, we're gonna give you a manual, a group report. And this is gonna show how your top people, your management people, mm -hmm. tend to communicate. And you make this available to employees. So the next time you have a project, you've got this group report that they're able to see that this is the style of how we communicate. And based on that, they're able to work toward being on the same page, work toward that project, work toward whatever their goals are in planning. Great. Uh, this is some great information. What is the website where people can find this information or get in contact with you? Okay. Uh, the website is www.lifelanguages.com. So when you go to the website, the first thing you'll see is Fred and Anna Kendall, and you'll see uh, a wonderful interview that they had uh, on television recently, the past year. Uh, they've been on a number of shows, uh, a lot of Christian networks. Mm -hmm. They've been on Good Morning America, uh, Dr. Phil, that's the one you'll see on, on the yeah. homepage. And you'll see a number of little areas across the top that you can click on. And I'm gonna share in a minute how they can get a great discount if someone wanted to go in and see what the profile's all about mm -hmm. uh, and, and see if it fits them in their company, in their relationships. Great. Uh well, uh, it seems like we've run out of time, Richard, but uh, we do thank you for coming by the uh, DFW Business Hour, and hopefully maybe we can do another segment on this uh, uh, international profiling. Okay. Art, the one thing I want to mention, when you go to the website, mm -hmm. click on BETA up at the top, B-E-T-A, yeah. and that's the page to take the profile, and if they'll put in FB Chamber, Farmer's Branch Chamber, FB mm -hmm. Chamber, they have a very special discount for taking the profile. And then they can contact me, contact Life Languages. We'll be glad to see if we can help them through their company or organization. Richard, thank you so much for coming by DFW Business Hour. You all have a great day. May God bless you. And we'll see you again on the next DFW uh, Business Hour. Thank you.